Seth's rocking out with me here. Oh, uh, appropriate <laughs> for this segment, right? Exactly. Someone is watching you right on the internet in this morning's Money Watch. Weblining, it may sound innocuous, but it refers to advertisers tracking everything you do online, and then that information can be used in some very dangerous ways. You could be denied certain services or even have trouble getting something like health insurance. Joining us now from Palo Alto, California, is Michael Furnick, founder and CEO of Reputation.com. Good morning, Michael. Thanks for joining us. First of all, tell us, morning, how do Rebecca? they use these searches to track us? So this process of weblining, which is collecting data about us when we use the web, has been going on for a while. Here's what happens. You launch your browser, you surf the web, you share stuff, you post stuff, you like stuff, you buy stuff. All that information is being collected by data brokers or data collection companies who then share it or sell it. There's, a, there's been two changes in the last year or two that have made this a bigger and more comprehensive issue for almost everybody on the Internet. One. The, those buttons that you see when you like something or you don't even click that like button on a page, mm. that button is there to track the fact that you're on the website. And that's a much deeper and, and more systemic search for us and the information about us. And number two, the information is not just being used by advertisers. Your introduction was exactly right. The same information that's been collected about us for a long time is now being used to determine whether we get access to health care, how big our uh, health insurance premium might be, and whether we get a job, for example. So mm -hmm. it's a very, very big and influential part of our digital lives. And I've also heard even the credit card companies might be using some of your searches to determine your line of credit in the future. Just curious, are there, are there particular search topics or uh, websites that one could visit that are going to be most damaging to the reputation? It's called any website on the internet. <laughs> so, not, uh, not, not, so it's not damaging your reputation. I don't want people to be paranoid about using the web. I think they should use the web and so forth. But they should be very mindful of the fact that unless they use specific measures, and I do want to add that my company, Reputation.com, exists to give you control back over your data, unless they use specific measures like these services, they're going to have their data collected. Now, I think that we can do better, right? The internet has been built up as an advertising medium so that there's a huge incentive to collect our data, sell our data, share our data. And I think that all of this bounty that each of us represents through our digital DNA can actually be shared with us. So I think that we can do better as internet on entrepreneurs and innovators. And we can imagine a future in which, OK, we're getting this data. We're benefiting from the data. But by the way, we're also paying you back for it. So mm -hmm. imagine every time your data were sold, you got a cut, right? We can imagine that. And it would be a very exciting and optimistic version of what's currently a little bit creepy. Yeah, well, if we get there, that would be great. A but creepy it's, is right. Yeah, it We're is creepy. It. I'm working on it for you. I'm Good deal. I'm working on it for you, Rebecca. Michael Furtick, we appreciate it. Thank you.